everyone. Welcome to Facebook Live. As you all know, roommate selection begins tomorrow. Um, my name is Sophie, and we're going to go over some questions that a lot of you guys have had. Um, we're here today with two housing officials, Alyssa and Tia, and I'm going to let them introduce themselves, but we're also here to answer any other of your guys' questions. Thanks so much for, for hopping on to join us. We know that finding your roommate is really important. Um, as Sophie said, my name is Alyssa Gilbride. I'm the Associate Director for um, Administrative Services, and so um, I oversee our contracting and new assignment process, and part of that is room selection, or roommate selection. Hi, I'm Tia King. I'm with the Assignments Office in the University of Housing. Awesome, and we right now we have five people live with us. Um, so to start off, can you guys just tell us a little bit about the roommate selection process and what we should expect? Sure. So the very first thing that I would recommend is that you watch the uh, roommate selection video that we posted last week. So that can be found uh, in a couple of places. You can find it on our website. Um, it's the phase three video. And then you can also find it in the housing portal at the end of phase two. So before you log on, watch that video just so you know what to expect. Um, when you're ready, um, and you're ready to go in and start looking at roommate options, um, you can log into the portal. There are a few different ways that you can search, but the log into the portal where you've done everything else, including your contract, filling out phase two, um, and you'll get you'll go to the same spot. Um, the last thing that we want you to know um, is that this really isn't time sensitive. Um, you can do it tomorrow. You can do it next week. Um, maybe you plan to live with somebody that hasn't completed their housing contract yet and so um, it, it really isn't time sensitive as long as it's done before your roommate your room uh, selection time you'll be you'll be just fine great um and how do i search for my friend or roommate so there are three different ways that you can select um, you can go in by details you can go in by profile or you can personal profile and whichever matches. So they're, they're listed on the um, roommate matching page and you'll see the three different links below the bill. We have about 19 people joining us right now. Okay. And uh, so if anybody wants to tell us where they're from, we're always excited to hear that as well. Um, it's, good, it's good information. Yeah, and um, what if I don't want to have a roommate? Do I have to find a roommate? So you don't have to find a roommate. Um, in fact, if where you live is more important to you than who you live with, um, it's, it's possible that you'll have more options if, um, if you're by yourself going through room selection. Um, but what happens if I don't pick a roommate? So what would end up happening is that you would, you would go in and choose a room uh, later, later in the spring um, like normal, rather than having two or three or four people that you would assign with you, you would just go in and select your room, and then what will most likely happen is that somebody else will come along and choose the other space in that room, or another roommate group would come in and take uh, the spaces uh, in that room or that suite. So you're likely going to end up with a roommate, um, it just will not be somebody that you've selected. Okay, great. And we're actually joined by Julia from Texas and Allison from Illinois. Hello, guys. Hi. <laughs> and so here's another question. I'm planning on being in a living learning community. Is there anything I should know? In the living learning community, the room selection process is exactly the same as it is uh, if you're not in living learning. The only thing is you will only see if you do one of the searches people who are in your LLC. Great. And how many roommates can be in my group? You can have up to four people in a roommate group. So yourself and up to three other people. You don't have to have four. You can only have, I mean, if you only, if there's only one other person that you really want to live with, it can be just the two of you. Um, and then if you were to select again in April or May, if you were to select a room at say um, the Northwest Quad uh, or Maple Hill area where there are four people in a suite, it could be you, your roommate, and then a couple of other people. Uh, or you can have four people in your group. Now, none of the LLCs have more than one other roommate. So they're all just double roommates. Cool. And we have
have Raisha from Florida with us and Trina from Arkansas. Uh, we actually have a question from Julia. She said, freshmen are allowed to live in Adelphi, correct? That's correct, yes. Okay. Great. And uh, one small report about us uh, being sound muffling, muffled, so. Oh, okay, okay. We're just gonna speak up a little bit. Speak a little louder. <laughs> and what is a group leader? Do they pick the room too? They do not necessarily pick the room. Um, they are just the first person who goes out and searches and you, your group, let's say you and three other friends know that you want to live together. Any of you can be the first person to send out the friend request. That is the group leader. The person in that group, within that group, who has the earliest contact date will be the one who actually selects the hall and goes with it. Gotcha. And what are some common reasons that I might not be able to find the roommate that I'm requesting? So when students call us and they're, they're having trouble finding um, the person that they're looking for, we typically ask um, a series of questions and we start trying to find information on our own. The very first thing that we're going to do is make sure that that other person has a housing contract. If they don't have a housing contract, then they're not going to show up as an option uh, for, for roommates. Um, the second thing that we're going to do is we're going to look to see if either one of the um, two students are, are in a living learning community. If one of them uh, is and the other one isn't, they're not going to be able to find each other. Um, and then one of the other things that's uh, actually more common than you would think is that there's a, um, at the end of phase two, there's a roommate agreement uh, search. And so there's a little box. And if that box is left um, uh, unchecked, that student will not show up um, in the roommate search process. So basically they opt out of, of being Great. Um, what happens if my roommate decides to go to school somewhere else? If your bonded roommate decides to go to school somewhere else, there's a couple of things that you can do. So if you're the group leader and it's just you and your friends, you can click on the list of group and then search for someone else. Or the person who is not going to be in the group any longer and go to school at the university can click leave this group and then you can search for whomever would take your place. Gotcha. Um, and we have 27 people live with us right now. Um, and just remember, guys, you can submit any questions you have along the way. But uh, what happens, or I'm sorry, how do I remove myself from a group if I decide I want to live with someone else? So Tia kind of touched on this a little bit, but um, if you decide that you, you want to live with somebody else, um, if you're the group leader, then you'll just hit uh, delete group. Uh, what that is going to do is it's going to dissolve that whole group. So I would give your friends a courtesy and let them know that you've done that so they can go back and restore that group um, for the people who are left that want to stay together. Um, if you are not the group leader, um, you can just hit, like she has said, a little button that says leave group, and then you'll be um, on your own if you start searching for other reasons. Great, and we're also joined by Blair from Dallas. Hi, Blair. Um, yeah, Christine's question, I'm trying to, the way we have it structured, I can't quite see all the words, but basically asking, so the roommate selection process is only really for people that know someone going through, uh, not for students that are kind of going, I guess, solo. Is that true? That is not true. Um, she had jumped in, sorry, I didn't, didn't mean to kick over, but, um, so there are three different ways that you can search for a potential roommate. If you know somebody, um, if it's, you know, if you go to high school with somebody or you have a friend that's also coming here and you know a very specific person that you want to live with, you can search by details. And so you'll put in their student ID number or the very first part of their UARC email address and that, that person should pop up. Um, you can also search by those profile questions. And so uh, back in November, most likely you filled out that personal profile and um, just kind of noted your preferences. What time you like to go to bed? How clean you like your room? You can search for um, a potential roommate based on what is most important to you. And then if you just want to skip all of that, there is an option to search by suggested roommates. And so those suggested roommates are um, those, they're, they're ordered by percentage. And so how high did you, um, 
how compatible are you basically with uh, a potential person and so you can make a suggestion cool and ariana asks can freshmen live in yokum yes they can <laughs> and julia asks what is the order for roommate selection like income returning or llc's there isn't really sorry. an order to roommate selection. Um, so when the gates open tomorrow at 10 o'clock, um, everybody can, can go in and start looking at potential roommate options. Um, when we get into room selection, uh, priority does shift a little bit. And so um, current students who are planning to move or planning to stay on campus again next year will have priority. And then um, students in the Honors College will follow that group and then members of living learning communities and then all incoming students. Um, room selection for returning students will start mid-March, March 17th. And then for first year students, uh, honor students will go through the week of April 7th through the 10th. Uh, this, this calendar uh, is located on our website. So you can find that, uh, those rounds of room selection on our website under, under our calendar. Awesome, thank you for that question. And Hillary asks, how can you pick a roommate before knowing which dorm you'll get into? You can, you can go in and you can search by profile. It's, it's really a personality kind of thing. Um, if you are in an LLC, that's the only one that's going to limit you. So uh, what you can do is you can go to the search and you can check with someone who, let's say, uh, matches you that we our system has matched and you can talk to that person through uh, email you are given their email address and you can contact that person and get to know that person if they may or may not have a particular place that they want to live it doesn't necessarily um, mean that you have to live with that person that you contacted it's just you're getting to know them a little bit and, and to see if they want to live in the same Awesome, thank you. And Suzanne asks, what is the deadline for prospective roommates to make arrangements to room together? At what point does a student get assigned a roommate if they haven't coordinated with someone they know? So again, we'll, we'll open this up tomorrow at, uh, at 10 o'clock and it will remain open um, for most of the room selection process. So well into um, the spring, um, you know, we, we typically don't turn it off until um, about May. Um, and so as long as you choose your roommate uh, before your room selection time, um, when you go in to select a room, the, the two or three or four of you will be attached together. And once one is assigned, um, whoever's assigning rooms will be able to assign all, all roommates together. Thank that you. That very confusing. It's not as difficult <laughs> as it sounds, I promise. All right, and Trina asks, my son has no clue who he wants as a roommate, but knows what dorm he would like to stay in. Should he pick a compatible person or just bypass all the options as far as roommate selection? He, if, if where he lives is what is most important to him, he is better off not to select a roommate. He, because he can, let's say he wants the maples and the books and he, there's not a whole lot of space left, but there is one space left in like three rooms. He can just put himself in that one space, whereas if he's bonded to a roommate, it's not gonna let him go into that one space because there's not somewhere for his bonded roommate. So he will be better off um, just waiting and see. Now, that being said, there's no way for you to see what type of profile and things that those kids in that room have. So, but if the, if his hall is what's most important, he, he has a good addition to him that could be safe. It's, it's also, unbonded. it's also really important to note that, um, you know, a student can go through the roommate matching process and select a room. Um, and then if, if he find, if in this case, your son finds um, a compatible roommate, they get to room selection, um, they can assign themselves to wherever they want to live um, and then he gets the best he gets you know the best of both worlds gets where he wants to live and who he wants to live with um, but like Tia said if location becomes the priority 
he can go into room selection they can decide you know what there's not a room for both of us so let's just split up now um, hopefully he's contracted early enough that that won't be a problem um, and he will be able to get you know one of his top choices of, of all um, and not really have to make that decision between who he wants to live with and live with him. awesome and gabby asks where will single rooms be available so um, again, apologies for taking over. Okay. Um, right now, uh, in our system, we have a number of single rooms at um, the Northwest Quad area. So Morgan, Gateway, Clark, um, what am I missing? Morgan, Gateway, Clark, Hardy. Hardy. Yeah. Um, we have single rooms for uh, returning students at Walton Hall. Um, we uh, this year we're able to offer some single rooms at Humphrey. Yoakum and Pomfret. We anticipate being able to do that again for uh, the 2021 year. Um, and we have just a limited number of singles in places like Holcomb and Cecil. Um, but for the most part, uh, all of our locations are, are double occupancy rooms. Gotcha. And Julia asks, what can we have inside the door room electronic wise? Because I know at some schools you can't have coffee makers and such. <laughs> Our Keurigs are great. Um, you can have those. You can't have anything with an open flame. You can't have a hot plate type thing. Um, if you'll go to our handbook that's on our website, housing.ur.edu forward slash handbook. Yeah. Right up. And then we have a move in website that comes out every June 1st. Mm -hmm. And a lot of that detail is there also. Right. So, and that'll help you. Um, and the website that Christopher was referring to has what to bring and what not to bring so it's very helpful yes um and ariana asks is it mandatory for a freshman to have a roommate we actually answered that earlier it is not um and blair asks we have four boys who would like to be together what are the odds that that will or won't happen the answer is it really just depends it depends on um, how early those students contract and where they want to live um, i'll quickly kind of go over the room selection process so, um, the, again, on, on our calendar, we have the rounds of room selection outlined. Um, students are ordered based on when they contract. And so, um, the earlier a student contracts is the earlier they get to go select their room. Now, the benefit is that they get to pull in all of their, uh, their bonded roommates. So, um, if if somebody contracted in mid-September when we opened the process um, and maybe their one of their roommates didn't contract until um, yesterday, he, he is going to get to pull in that group of roommates. So um, in that situation, the student contracts in September, um, they have a, a pretty good chance of all four of them getting together. The longer we go um, through, through the year and into the spring semester, it's probably the less likely all four are going to be able to live together but once we reach that point um, we have some flexibility in our system and so um, students can start kind of assigning themselves to a couple of rooms side by side um, they maybe aren't in the same suite together but they can be next door to each other great um, Gabby asks if we have a specific person already to room with what do we need for selection and then separate question student ID number so they will search by details and in that you could either put in their student ID number or their year of age, year of their name. And you won't need the at uarkansas.edu part, you'll just need the first part of their username. Um, put that in and it should generate and then it'll send them, do you want to be room with so and so and they'll hit accept and they'll be bonded. Awesome, thank you. Mm -hmm. And a different Gabby asks, whenever phase three opens up, do all of my roommates have to fill it out or just one person? So uh, everyone will have to take some kind of action. So if I wanna live with Tia, um, I will go in and start a group and I'll send Tia an invitation to be my roommate. Um, she's gonna get an email and she'll be asked to um, confirm whether or not she wants to do that. So everybody is gonna have to either send something or respond to something. Um, it's really important that um, you kind of make those plans up front 
So if if I get really excited and I go in and start a group and then Tia does the same thing, we're not gonna be able to find each other because we're both group leaders. So um, again, somebody's gonna go in and start the group, invite other people, um, and then they can respond and say, yes, I, I wanna be in this group. And remember that the group leader is not necessarily the person that will be doing the selecting. That is the person within the group that has done the contact the earlier. And, and Tia could also go in and search, if I started the group, Tia could go in and search for me and request to join my group. Awesome, thank you. And we are actually don't have any more questions from students at the moment. Okay. Do we have any, um, any more questions on our question sheet? I don't think so. No? I think Great. we went through all of them. Um, Fantastic. The big thing is view the video if you have any questions about the video do it um, I would for all the parents out there trying to help your students out I would let the students do this part roommates is pretty important um, person so I would let them since it's not time sensitive and they can do it on Saturday or Sunday evening I would let the students do this part are you saying that as a housing staff member or as a mother Both. <laughs> <laughs> And I will add, as a student who went through roommate selection here, you really do want to find someone that you're compatible with, so sharing up with those similar interests is important. Do you want to um, show the website? Uh, yeah, give me one second. Yeah, okay. We'll just show the portal off a little bit first, and then we'll sign off. Oh, we've got one more. Julia asks, how are the pod bathrooms split up? Like, how many per each bathroom? It is up to... 12, I believe, in each restroom. Uh, you're talking about in, well, in a dohi? Yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. 12, yeah, 12 people. <laughs> and, and pod bathrooms are just bathrooms that are sort of located close to those pod-style uh -huh. places yeah. in a dohi. They're not um, in-suite bathrooms. Right, that's right. And they, I think they're great because someone else cleans them, someone else buys the toilet. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> and you get to know more people around. So, should we pan over here and take a look at the portal here? Okay. So, again, you're going to log into the portal where you've done everything else. You're going to um, click on the residence hall contract, live with parent form. Um, it should automatically take you to the uh, wherever you left off, and so you should end up on the roommate selection um, portion. You'll see this video. Um, you can watch the video again. You can do that again. You can do that tonight. You can do that um, now. It's on our uh, our housing page, so it should be easy to find. And then again, we've talked about the different ways that you can search for um, a roommate. So you can search by details, which is that university ID or the front part of a university email. You can search by profile. You can search by um, suggested roommates. So this is just kind of what our system um, thought would would make a compatible roommate. You can see that um, I'm the group leader. Um, I'm classified as a returning student. Um, you can see that Tia is my roommate, and she is a new student. Um, so she has already gone in and accepted my invitation to join my group. We can communicate by sending messages. Um, we know typically what happens is that students will exchange uh, social media information and so they'll start following uh, one another on Instagram or uh, whatever medium they use. Um, if I decided, um, I, you know, I wanted to live with someone else, I could go up and delete our group. Um, Tia could log in and she could leave this group. Um, I'll hit save and continue. Oh, and then I got logged out. That, I don't know that I'll get it timed out. I probably yeah. timed out. But I think that's, those are kind of the nuts and bolts of it. Um, and again, it will be up at 10 o'clock in the morning. It is not, um, we're going to say that the lot is one of the only things we're going to say this about. It is not time sensitive. So there's no reason um, to, to rush to your computer at 10 o'clock tomorrow. There's no reason to jump out of your English class to go select your roommate. Um, th this can wait. Um, you just want to make sure that it's done before you go into room selection. Any uh, other questions? 
I don't think so. Okay, well let us know if this one's helpful um, and if you want to see a similar um, video for a room selection or any other process moving forward. Great, well thank you guys all for being here today and thank you to our two housing officials for answering everyone's questions and good luck tomorrow when the room rate selection process starts.